281 average. Those are both career highs, Steve. And I think he's got a chance to keep growing those numbers. As Hit up the middle. And it gets through. Gomes not, not looking real good. Three on and one out. The pitch. Swung on, lined over the first oh, baseman's that? head. Beautiful that one falls. Gomes gets driven home. And Hernandez also scores. Hey, that's a tough pitch to hit. It tells you just how strong this guy is to be able to... Big swing, straightaway center. Warning track, wall looking up. Hey, Steve, he not... Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone. Oh, ball yeah. lifted high in the air, deep down the right field line. Good ball. want to do that, it's just not good baseball. Shot back to first. And Quentin's got himself a base hit. Don around third, headed for the plate. And he scores. Now he has no business swinging at this boat. Pop foul to the right side, but playable. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. He homered back in inning number two. There's a swing ball hit high, deep, straight away left field. Gone, a two-run homer. Swing and a ball hit very high, soaring straight away left field. Goodbye, home run. Working on the 0-1 count now. Well, this is... Swing and a ball okay. drilled down the right field line. That one's into the corner. Oh, and it hits the foul pole. Oh, good. There, they're going to try and score Canerco. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. This one way, way back. And they bring him home. Just kind of lean in, Steve. You know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, four. Hit softly out towards shallow center. And it's through in the center. So Juan Pierre will come up. Well, when the hitter stepped up the plate, the last place he expected to get a hit from a pitch was one inside off the plate. How he swung at it, how he got the bat on it. Unbelievable job. No one will know that. Good job of hitting. Here's a swing. That's a broken bat fly ball. And it falls in there. That's going to be a single. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment. Alexei Ramirez. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Oh. On the way. Ramirez, ground ball. And that'll put him on another hit. And he's in there. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. Two on, and here's Paul Canerco. Well, they're making a stab at it. Trouble is, they've got a big mountain to climb. All right, we saw a good piece of hitting right there, so tip your hat for that. But it doesn't improve their chances a whole lot more as they've got a long way to go to catch up still. Steve, you got to make a start. This is that first step. Long way to go. And the, the a swing, line drive, deep left field. Off the wall on a hop. Pierre scores. They don't want to just lay down and die. They're going to continue to try to battle and see if they can't come back into this thing. They're getting a little bit closer at the very least. They gain some momentum for the next day. Really tries to lay into that first pitch, but he misses on one. We gotta like the approach of this offense, Gary. I mean, they're slowly, methodically working themselves back into it. Now they're still down four runs. Rios puts the bat to it. Roland picks it up. So Rios is set down. Oh boy. And Adam Dunn, he'll be looking to drive something in. He is just a triple shy of the cycle now. Well, that's the toughest leg of the cycle to get, but if he hits it into the gap, look at him run. Strike started off the... That swung on and a liner here. And in there, the White Sox will score. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. Now, big moment for Carlos Quentin in this game. A real opportunity for him. Let's see who can win this showdown. Well, you get a feeling watching them there. Drill towards third. That's down. The run's coming in. It rolls all the way to the wall. He's safe at third base. No play to be made. Well, they're not out of this one yet. They're chipping away at this thing. Now just a two-run margin. A liner headed for a hole. And in there, the White Sox will score. Well, the pitcher 
comes in thinking he's got dubs here. Had a home run back in the sixth. And out on the mound, we've got Wilk. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Picked up. Gets one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. Here's the pitch. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. And that one's put away to retire the side. No runs and a couple of hits and two. Coming to the plate now, here's Morrow. He'll lead off home half of the 10th. Francisco Cordero is the pitcher. He's been chosen to take over out there. Swung on, hit. And he's on the potential winning run. Get ready. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. A smash between short and third. One away. You play at third base, you have to expect the ball to get on you quickly. But I don't think anybody expected to get on you that quickly. So, Alexei Ramirez is batting. Well, they can't just disregard the runner on first, but it seems unlikely he'd go anywhere because he just doesn't have much speed. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Gets off the wall. He's on his way to third. The throw, and he's in there easily. Well, the really run now on base, Gary, after that big base hit. So this offense putting the pressure on, and they've got a chance to swing and a rocket toward short. And there it is. Could this be it? And they win it. Game winning run is across. Walk off win for the whole team, getting it done in uh, extraordinary fashion.